Well, <clears throat> this is the, the 4350 there, DDR2. Believe it or not, it's not a bad little card for a low res. Like, if you're just trying to do basic gaming, it's it's not really the greatest, but I was shocked I was getting 45 to 50 for CSGO. So I'm just going to glue on this fan with the trusty old glue gun and see where we get. Well, I started doing a review on the ATI Radeon 4350, I realized how hot it is running. And considering how many frames per second I'm getting, it's not bad on low res, but anything too high, it gets, gets bumpy. But at the same time, I think we're running too hot. So I was thinking, I glued on a fan in there on it, and it is doing, it was, it's cooling it a bit better. By like seven eight Celsius something like that so I was thinking about somehow managing to get one of these heat sinks on it so we'll see how it goes from there after working a little while on it it was a pain in the butt to get off the stupid heat sink I had four pegs that I had to pull off I, I used a pair of pliers it was the only way I broke one pin but I was like oh whatever but there she be there was like barely any thermal paste on it, so that's probably why it was getting so hot. So I'm going to put on some new thermal paste and try to put on a new heat sink on it and put on a fan on it and see how well she does. So some with some patient work, a glue gun, an old heat sink, I got her on to the, the 5350, I believe it is, and she's posting. So... Just give her a couple minutes and I'll get right to the specs of the the temps of this thing and I put on some new thermal paste on it too. It seemed kind of dry and like really stuck on there so it took me a couple minutes cleaning it up so eh. so after the new heat sink installed I got it about six or seven degrees cooler I'm assuming so let's go to benchmark See this 52. So essentially, I cooled it. Ooh, 63. I did technically cool it down here. I must have changed the settings or something. It's crawling for it. Now it's fighting for it. Maybe I need a faster fan. More airflow onto the heatsink. I'll put a secondary fan on it. It is a lot of work for this thing to do, though. How many frames were we getting before? I made a little mistake before. Um, I had to re angle it and re glue it on, and I have making sure it's all glued together nicely. And it's half decent, not saying it's the best glue job I've ever done, but you know what? It's not too bad. Well, I'm going to try this again and see if it runs at a lower temperature. So, after redoing the heat sink, I put it on the wrong way, so somehow I must have mushed over the thermal paste. So, I'm getting a lot better temps, but for whatever reasoning, I'm getting like less frames per second. I don't know if it's a setting in the program or something, but... I'll figure it out, but temperatures are a lot better, 35, 36, if it stays under 41, I'd be impressed. So it has been modded. I'm going to try to run some other specs, see what we got. I think before I was running it in window mode, I'm unsure. It's staying cooler though. So after I got the card working, we'll just go with offline with bots. So the dust two. Card running a lot cooler. Got proper thermal paste on it. I don't even know my settings, but we'll double check them. Doodly doodly do doodly do doodly do. Now. Usually with my 77, 70 current, it would load a lot quicker, but considering it's only like 
512 DDR2, it's understandable because it's got to buffer all that to the card and blah, blah, blah. So it makes sense. The thing that I found was very odd was that it actually plays the game quite well considering what the card model is and like the speed of RAM. I overclocked the, the card by like 50 megahertz, so it was like six, 600, I believe, and pushed it up to 650. Say continue. Oh. It does it. I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't recommend doing this. This was more of an experiment, a learning curve, I guess. Well, we got 72 there for a second. I'll just walk around until I get killed or something. I'll plant the bomb. I just want to see if this, if the bomb goes off, we'll actually see. Unless the team gets killed, so we're at 56 frames. I should download Gary's mod and see how well it can handle that. Probably not very well because of lack of RAM, but... Ah, I'm being shot at! Don't shoot me! I'm doing a good job of dodging, I guess. Oh, not really. They're gonna probably defuse it. Stupid bots. That wasn't the idea. No! What? It does actually ruin it. More tests.